figured out that we had to move the pantry a little bit and so Russ just finished moving the pantry oh the the wall because we didn't have enough clearance after we put the refrigerator in there or uh, we will put the refrigerator there won't be enough clearance between that and where the the stove is going to be and then the, the end cabinet so we had to move that over it makes the pantry a little more narrow but that's okay it'll be fine we'll still get plenty of food and whatever else we need in there no problem so here's the kitchen and here's how the layout's going to be there's the cabinet that Israel gave us shout out again to Israel uh, for the sink base cabinet and so right there is uh, in front of the bar will be where the sink is and then we've got a lazy Susan there in the corner and then we've already got the uh, the dishwasher just just setting in there just uh, as a placeholder for that's where it's going to be and then the next thing over this will be the stove and then we're going to put just a little end cabinet for some countertop on the other side of the stove so we figured out that once all that happens in this kitchen it's not a very big kitchen and so we figured out that coming through that door which uh, is on the other side of that piece of sheetrock right now but you've got to have a little bit of room to get between the refrigerator and the door and we just didn't feel like there'd be enough so so uh, that didn't take Russ very long to move that move that uh, wall just a little bit I think the worst part was a, a little bit of extra wiring that had to be redone but uh, anyway the kitchen is coming along it's about to happen cabinets will be? No, but, but then the line will run all the way to the windows. Oh, I see. I have to, at least I, if I have to have a partial pile, okay, but at least I have the line. Okay, I see. So Dad got back and we were able to get the walls textured today, uh, so that's great because that means we've got the ceilings and the walls textured, so tomorrow we can lay in some paint, which will be really nice. We can get some primer on this and maybe before the end of the week we will have the color on and uh, we'll be ready to start putting the floor down and uh, we'll be off and running. This room will be almost, uh, we'll be close to being finished by the end of this week I hope. Dad came in this morning and put a coat of primer on and Landon is finishing up this first coat, maybe the only coat, we'll see how it dries looking pretty good it's not dry yet you can still see the streaks but I like the gray uh, Angel picked this out and uh, what we ended up having to do is uh, we had a five gallon bucket of white someone had given us a five gallon bucket that only had about a gallon and a half used up out of it so we went to the store and got some black and mixed it together and came up with this gray Hey guys, I'm out here on the porch. Uh, it's about 8.30 at night. I'm filming right now because my battery ran out at the house. Uh, we did get the room painted today and we're gonna start working on the floor tomorrow and start painting the trim. So it's all coming together for the master bedroom. We still got a lot of work to do on the house. Uh, but uh, just fed the chickens and put them to bed, gave them some water. It's supposed to be hot. School starts tomorrow and I'm driving a bus. Uh, for the local school district so uh, I got to get in and uh, take a shower and get some sleep tonight just finished picking a good mess of green beans and there's some tomatoes in there too so 
we're going to take those and uh, cook them up tomorrow and have them for dinner or we may take them to church tomorrow night for potluck so we'll see but uh, anyway happy school year to all the kids starting school hope you guys have a great one and uh, we'll talk to you later